Hello there. This is a Mark II Skoda Octavia, and there's a problem. The little green car is driving far too close with its main beam on, and those lights are bouncing off the Skoda's rear view mirror and dazzling the driver. Or so you might think, but no, the Skoda has a self-dimming rear view mirror that eliminates such problems, and in this video, I'll show you how to work it. Welcome to Cast By TV. So here's a closer look at this self-dimming rear view mirror, and at the moment it's turned off, and that means it behaves like any other standard mirror, much like the one in your bathroom, kitchen, or whatever. But there is a button just there that enables us to turn it on. And there's a closer look at the button, which we shall press now. And we can tell the mirror is now on because a green light has appeared there. Can you see that? And by the way, that thing adjacent at the end of my thumb is a light sensor. So now the mirror's turned on in the Skoda. A light from the following green car bounces off the sensor I showed you a moment ago. A dark tint then appears on the mirror and you don't get dazzled. Now, for demonstration purposes today, we're going to exaggerate that effect by shining this torch directly onto the light sensor, and then we'll be able to see the dark tint magically appear. So let's now look at the image in the mirror, and we can see it's reflecting the ceiling of the car. So there is the interior light, various buttons, that's roof trim, sunglasses holder, and so on. And we can see, particularly if you look at the color of my hand, that there's no dark tint on the mirror. Okay, see that? Now, look what happens when we shine the light onto the light sensor. The mirror is already getting darker. The tint is appearing. See that? Getting considerably darker than it was just a moment ago. And of course, if there was a car behind us, we wouldn't now be dazzled by its lights. And of course, in contrast, if we turn the torch off like so, the dark tint will slowly fade away. We can see that happening already. My hand is starting to look a more normal color. And there we go, back to normal. Clever, eh? This is interesting too. If there is a dark tint on your mirror, it automatically dissipates when you put the car into reverse, irrespective of how much light is hitting that sensor. And that, presumably, is because Skoda thinks you're not likely to be reversing towards dazzling lights. But, of course, when you put the car back into a forwards gear, like so, the tint automatically reappears, if necessary. Also, on a bright day, the mirror won't self-dim however much light hits the sensor. It needs to be overcast, getting dark or dark. And that does make sense. If it's a bright day, people aren't likely to have their lights on behind you. And even if they do, they're not going to be dazzling. So here's the big question of the day. <laughs> How does the mirror know whether it's light or dark outside? Well, there's a second light sensor at the back here, which faces the windscreen, and we can see it just up there. Okay, confession time. As it's daylight, I've had to cover that rear sensor with my coat to trick the mirror into working so that I can make this video. Don't tell anyone. So there you go. That's how the self-dimming rear view mirror works in a Mark II Skoda Octavia. And now, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Carspire TV. That makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video and I'll see you next time. Farewell.